right, so in the second video, really what I just wanna go over is how to find your lead forms. You, so the thing with Facebook is they will provide a lot of different ways and opportunities for you to build ads, boost ads, do different things with your advertising. And one thing that's a little bit annoying is when you're in the middle of building an ad and it says build the lead form in the ad itself, then it's if, if that's all you've done is you're working the ads manager and you're building an ad in the ad itself, and I'll show you where that is in a future video, uh, it's sometimes hard to actually find the lead forms and know where they're stored, view them, edit them, so on and so forth. So uh, at Paracor, we are always working in kind of like the, I don't wanna say like the native environment of like audiences, we're always using the audience manager, lead forms, we're always using the lead form section. We're not typically creating audiences while we're creating an ad. We're not creating a lead forms while we're creating a lead ad. We are working where those assets are stored so that we can organize them, make sure that they're named appropriately, make sure they're easy to follow, blah, blah, blah. Uh, and you can draft them in the lead form area. So um, lead forms are actually associated with a page not necessarily the ad account. So in the case of Paracore, this is our page, right? And I'm an admin. So I see some tools and some information up here that most consumers don't see. And there's this link right here called Publishing Tools. I hate how it has the ellipses right here. That makes no sense to me, um, but Publishing Tools. So when you hit that guy, then you head over to all the different publishing tools. And so you see all of this information about our ads, schedule post drafts. This is where you can upload videos, the creator studio, sound collection, branded content, and then you have lead ads, lead ad forms right down there. And so when you head over to the lead form ad section, um, you have a couple different areas. You have the forms library, so I just did a filter. There's some recent ones that uh, I don't even think they're quite running yet. I mean, there's no leads, so probably not, but I just wanted to filter it down. So February 1st to March 31st, um, this is where the lead ads live. And you'll see, excuse me, the lead forms live, not the lead ads, this is where the forms live. So you'll see it's the name of the form. You can preview it. If I hit this guy right here, I'm gonna hit the accelerator one. I can preview the form. This is one that we actually didn't end up using in our ad account because we used it for the EO one. So that image would be different, but where you located, date you found your company, industry, company description. So a bunch of information here we're asking for. Um, so you can preview the form. You can see the status of it's active, when it was created, how many leads it generated, how many were expired and then sharing, being restricted or not restricted. So these, you typically want to be open. You don't necessarily want them to be restricted, and I'll tell you how to open them when we're creating the actual lead form. But having them restricted means that nobody can share it, and therefore, you can only get paid leads, not organic leads. Well, if you're running an ad, you want all the leads you could get normally. I don't know if there's many reasons you would want it restricted. You almost always want all the leads coming in. So you would... Um, so you would set that as open. And I'll show you how to do it in the next video when we actually create a lead form. Here's where you can download leads. You hit the download button, download new leads or download by date range. So that's great. And then you can boost it here. So here's an example of like another place that Facebook allows you to do certain things. So those are your current lead forms. I have this filter just to like a month basically. Uh, you have drafts right here. So it's important to know that after you've created a lead form, you can't edit it unless it's in draft mode. Once you publish a lead form, you cannot edit it afterwards. So when you're doing, um, when you're creating a new form, so you hit the create button right here, you're gonna create it, you can do whatever you want, you can save it as a draft and it's gonna stay here in the drafts, you can't use it until it's published. But once you publish it, no longer editing. So it's really important, I think, to make sure that the lead form is set up exactly how you want it and then moving into the forms library so it have like a bunch of forms in there that you're not even using, like we're not even using that EO Arizona one, so that should be deleted. But you're going to want to create, draft it as long until it's like approved and finalized, and then publish it. And then this third section down here is lead setup. So we're connected through Zapier, but you can also connect a lot of different ways through CRMs. And um, I'm going to go through that in another video as well, connecting your leads. So that when someone submits the form, Facebook saves the lead information. And you can download it through an Excel file, but they don't notify you that a lead has been generated, which is a total bummer and kind of lame. So what you wanna do is you wanna connect it with some sort of third-party system. We use Zapier so that just fires off an email and then it also pushes into our CRM, which happens to be Nutshell. Um, but you, you'll wanna like push the email or whatever into different systems so that you can nurture it, prospect it, get the lead right away and call them um, in the future. So if you don't do that, if you don't set this up, you may generate leads and not even be notified. And then if someone submits a lead form, and you don't contact them, that's a problem because 
you're paying for leads that you're not even contacting. They're getting frustrated they didn't contact them fast enough. So that's no good. So in this video, I primarily just wanted to show you where you can find the lead forms. You go to your page, you go to your Facebook page, you must be an admin in order to see these extra tools up here. You hit the publishing tools, then you head on over to the lead ad section. So in the next video, I'm gonna to talk to you about creating a lead form ad in this exact area and go through all the different options in the creation process. So check that out. And as always, let us know if you have any questions.